Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Sorry, guys. I did not do a video last Sunday. And this past Wednesday, I was away on vacation. Um, I was in Los Angeles. And I'll just tell you guys a quick little story time while I show you these um, rings that I that my little brother purchased for me at um, a jury. Um, he's so sweet, guys. Like, <laughs> I was trying to buy two, uh, two rings. Well, actually, I was trying to get a bang for my buck, but my hands are rather large. Um, and that's another thing I need to start talking about. This struggle, like more of these struggles that us women have who are tall. Now, I do know two tall women who actually have narrow feet, narrow hands. My mom has some big old feet and hands and I got them. But um, LA was cool. I had a connecting flight. So this is kind of like a story time at the same time as showing you guys this. So I had a connecting flight um, both ways. Oh gosh, guys, listen. Usually when I book flights, I take Delta. I'm not even gonna lie. I just don't have time for the struggle. But my little brother paid for everything. Um, so connecting flights. Now, it's not to say that he went the cheap route. I think that was just popping up for California. Um, few things that I noticed, because we, we landed in Miami, so both ways, but for whatever reason, coming back was like the absolute worst, guys. It was so, that was a long ride. Like, <clears throat> it just seemed really long. But I stayed at a, a pretty decent hotel. Um, and I'll tell you what I noticed. One thing about me is that I don't like, I don't like it. I'm, I'm gonna say, I don't like fake people. Like, nose up in the air people who you can really tell that they don't really, they're not really that way. Um, the hotel had a pool party one day and it was a private party, but the people in the hotel could go, but you had to basically put them on a list, right? Sorry, so here's the earrings, Majuri, uh, not earrings, the <laughs> the ring. So we were waiting, so they put us on the list to go into the party, the pool party. Can you guys see that? They're so pretty. So we were waiting on the, the line and this guy pulls up, so he wasn't on the list. I, I didn't know if they were paying to get in, I, I didn't know. So he says, <laughs> he's the one that pulled up in the Ferrari and I was just like oh wow but they can rent cars out there so I didn't know what his motive was I don't know maybe he just was trying I don't know so we finally get upstairs and I knew it was gonna be exactly what it was which was a trash <laughs> um <laughs> there was like maybe seven people in the pool everybody was just literally just standing around what is going on guys I don't dance, but I definitely have a good time when I go out, right? But people were just like standing around. Like it was just, I, I didn't know what, I've seen pool parties where people are just having a good time. The music was extremely low. So I didn't know if people could really like, I don't know, enjoy themselves, but it wasn't worth it. I think we went for like five minutes and that was it. Um, So I'm gonna show you how it unpacks and then I'll tell you about the homeless. Oh my goodness, there's so many homeless people out there so sad so here are the two rings um can you uh oh i always do this here are the two rings right since my hands are so big i had to get a size 10 big old hands right now it was so hot out there so some of the rings were like i was trying to put it on my right hand and she said, oh, your right hand, your right hand is your dominant hand because you're always writing with it, so it, it swells up a lot more. Because I really wanted two pointer rings, and it fits on my left hand fine, but the right hand was like a struggle. So, <clears throat> and I'm gonna put the name of these rings in the description bar. Um, and also guys, these are the 14 karat ones, okay? The reason why I got these is because 
I'm just kind of tired of like the jewelry and you know stuff not lasting um you have to think about because they have vermeil I think it's called verme um they have verme they have silver and then they have 14 karat gold I'll say this I would recommend just going for the 14 karat it is more money but at least you know that you're gonna have it for a long time um, I still love costume jewelry I do know that I cannot do earrings where the stem is not uh, sterling silver if I do I don't I only can wear them for one day otherwise my earlobes are going to start hurting um, that's just what it is I have brass earrings that I purchased from African vendors um, 10 years ago never had an issue with my earlobe because the stem of it is silver um, so here are the two rings and I don't know because I want to create like a nice little situation here <laughs> and, and always have like some nice rings on my hand because my hands are big I don't really like the super dainty rings I kind of feel like I'm gonna break them and I don't know why I cuz I'm a little rough on my hands so these two here I absolutely love but so let's see did I put the nope didn't put the receipt in here one was 350 which is the one uh, this one here was 350 and this one was 300 um, but I like them so these are a size 10 if you have big hands anything past a 10 um, I don't think they go past a 10 what I will say is back in the day because my mom had big hands too she would buy a ring and they would just cut it and they would you know extend it for her because she had big hands I don't know I got some big old feet too even my shoes I bought some boots from from stowed I'm gonna pop in a photo here they're packaged back up I have to send them back because the zipper doesn't zipper up they're a really nice pair of boots um they don't have the color anymore so I'm gonna opt for another color I did end up going to the stowed store in California um, in LA nice cute little store the boots that I have downstairs are the red ones um, and they're like a candy red they're really nice I didn't want to get the suede ones because I wasn't too sure if they were gonna hit us hit me with the fake suede but when I saw them in the store I was like oh these are suede like it's very hard to find real suede these days these people are calling things suede and it's not suede uh, but the boots don't they don't zipper up I'm gonna see I, I changed them for the camel color I'll pop that in too because um, I actually saw them in the store they have a green pair like a military color I'll pop that in as well um, it looks darker online but in store it's not it's kind of like a it says olive well I guess so because I guess it is an olive color because it's more of a lighter green than that dark army green if that makes sense um, but they're both actually really 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 cute so I got a size 11 which you guys know I'm actually a 10 and a half but I always go for 11 I should have just got a 12 or 11 and a half I don't know because the red ones are super cute but I'm gonna send them back I'm gonna send them back and I'm gonna end up just getting the other ones um, it's like a I want to say it's kind of like a camel kind of like this color here yeah these are my own my coasters and um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go back and get those oh I, I'm returning those and they're gonna ship me the other ones um, and then I'll show you guys when those come my only issue was that the boots were pre-order I was waiting for a tracking number so I could track them before I went on vacation and I didn't get it they, I went to the store she's like yeah still saying processing they ended up emailing me telling me that it was delivered on the 4th and I was like it's sitting in front of my home for like four days so I wasn't afraid that somebody was gonna take it I was more afraid that it was gonna be like bugs in it right <laughs> um, but the boots are really really nice like I said I'm just they're just packaged up already but let's talk about the homeless in LA so in Hollywood it's just a lot of homeless people guys like you know I 
in New York, <clears throat> they are, there are a lot of homeless people. Mm. See, back in the day, I used to see them and then I just, they just kind of like, it would be like here and there, right? They're still down there, but not as much as Hollywood. So I was trying to figure out like, why is it so bad? Was it COVID? You know, the people come here and try to live a dream and then it didn't work out for them. Um, one Uber guy told me that it was COVID. After COVID, he's like, after COVID, it just kind of went left or whatever. Um, and then the other Uber guy said, and I remember this story. He said, well, what he heard was that the colder states were giving homeless people a one-way ticket to a hotter state. And I was like, I remember hearing that. So I don't know how true that is, but I can honestly see them doing that. Um, I mean, I seen young, I seen old. It was just very sad and it just made me just think like, you know, I don't know like where's the family or maybe they don't want to go to family. I don't know, but it was just a, a sad situation to see. Here in Atlanta, we do have a lot of homeless people. I know when I first moved here, they had closed one of the biggest shelters that they had for them. So just outside, um, I don't know, I just wish it was like a better way. Like we should never have homeless veterans. Like if you fought for the country, we should not have homeless veterans. Um, I don't know, that's just how I see it. But that was like the downside. That was like sad for me. But um, I did go to Rodeo Drive. I didn't do any shopping, it was so hot, okay? I will go back, <laughs> trust me. It was so hot that I really couldn't even vlog. Like it was like a heat advisory, like it was just insanely hot. Um, I did go to a really cool restaurant called 208, 208, um, 208 Beverly Hills, something like that. No, 208 Rodeo, sorry, 208 Rodeo. Very good, the food was amazing. And it's in like this little enclosed area on Rodale Drive. Um, I had a really good time. I stayed at the Dream Hotel. The room was, hmm, I'm probably gonna piece together the vlog that I got, because I did do that. But that room was so small, it was hot. They ended up switching me to a like suite room, which was so much better because the first room had, oh my God. I'm gonna see if I can get a picture, because I think they have it online online but the walls in the bathroom area was like wood and it was dark the lights were dark like i'm like, i can't even do makeup in here it was just so so dark um but the room that they switched me to was so bright like it was just like night and day um other than that i think it was a, a decent time we went to the beach we ended up going to mm, santa monica beach uh which was eh, it looks like <laughs> It looks like Coney Island Beach in the Bronx. I mean, in Brooklyn. Um, yeah, they had like a little amusement park in here. And they have a lot of seagulls on the beach. Um, I had m a lot more fun in the Fort, on the Fort Lauderdale Beach, at the Fort Lauderdale Beach. Um, we ate a lot, of course. And let me see what else. Just kind of like drove around. My brother rented a car. So we can just like get around the city. Um, Uber is pretty expensive out there. And I was like, damn, it does seem a little bit higher. I don't know if it's because it started there, but it was kind of high. Um, one Uber guy, I went to, he drove me to the Grove. So one Uber guy was like, his car was so hot, guys. Like, I mean like, so hot. I was like, can you put the air on? And in this day, I think it was like nice. Seven or something like that. So he puts the air on, it was blowing out heat. So I was like, this is so hot, sir. Like, this is horrible. So, okay, okay, so I guess this is what I observed. If you order Uber X, I think that's the first one, just a regular Uber cab, you're most likely to get a car that's kind of crappy. I'm so serious. They have like tons and tons and tons of Uber. Uber Eco, Uber Black. Uber for, they have, which I thought was really cool, they have for um, people in wheelchairs. I thought that was great. Um, but his cab was so hot. So we get to the destination and he's like, don't forget my star. <laughs> I 
And I'm like, sir, it was scorching hot in here. So hot, but um, you know, it was a, a pretty cool trip. I don't know if I would live there. If I did move there, it would be literally in Beverly Hills or in the burbs somewhere where I don't have to deal with like the city. Um, but other than that, it was a really, really good trip. I did get these. I was looking for, oh, I bought some jeans from Zara, but they're just like, you guys probably already seen them. They have like the little slits. I just couldn't find them in my size here, but I did find them there. Um, but other than that, it was a really great trip. Traveling as a tall woman, guys, it's a struggle. This is the first time I actually just took a carry-on. And it was like, I thought it was gonna be really bad, but I had to say to myself, like everything, you don't need these big things. Just grab the small things, take two or three of them if you need to, and be done. But I was able to pack five outfits in my carry-on, and I had two pair of jeans in there. I had shorts, jeans, um, a dress, things like that. But it was it was cool. So, yes, my brother purchased my beautiful rings, and they're really, really cute. I love them. This is just a little string on them. I'm gonna pop this off. Um, but it was a good, it was a good trip. A good trip for me to go on. I hadn't seen my brother in some time, um, so that was that was pretty cool to hang out with him and his girlfriend. Um, I didn't want to cock block, you know, because you know they like cock blocking your brother. <laughs> but other than that, it was a good trip. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna take those boots back. I'm upset because they don't have any more. But realistically, I was like, do I really need a pair of cherry red boots? They're really nice. I wanted them. I just had a vision for them. But the other color, I will get more cost per wear out of them. Now, it's not to say I won't get the red ones when they come back in stock. Um, and they were $5.50. They're really good quality boot. Like, if they weren't wrapped up downstairs, I would show you guys. But they're really good quality boot. I absolutely love them. Um, so, stole. Think about stole. And you guys know I have some, actually, I have some stole sandals here. They just have really good quality uh, shoes, honestly. Um, it's not still the start. He told me it was start. Um, they have really good quality stuff, but that's it. I just wanted to come on here and just quickly chit chat about my little trip and show you guys my cute rings. And again, these are a size 10. I have some, some space here, which I probably could have got a nine for this finger. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on this hand. It's just figuring out where I want to wear them. But this is the thing that's, that's a little snug, which is crazy because it fits on this finger with no problem. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the woes of being a tall girl, but I love them. I think they're pretty, so I'm gonna try to create like Again, one was three, the plain one was 300, and then the one with the little details was 350. Um, and they're 14, 14 carats. Yeah, yay. <laughs> so, that's it guys. I just wanted to jump on here and make sure you guys didn't forget about me. Also, I am going to get my Invisalign my sparkle line is checked out today. I'm on tray 23, which is one of the ones that are considered the retainer ones. Um, and today I'm gonna tell them that I probably want some more just to really get that perfect smile. So, but everything's still going good with that. Um, and then once I, once, I, once I see what they say today, I'll probably do another video um, on how many more trays I'm going to get. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I need a little bit more, just a smidget. <laughs> but I just wanted to come on here and just give you guys a quick little chat about my trip um, and tell you about the boots and stuff that, I'm, that I got, that I gotta send back. Um, and show you my, my beautiful rings, guys. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC. And my blog, Coco Styles NYC, and my styling services, Coco Styles NY.com, guys. If you want me to talk about anything particular, guys, um, 
any trends or anything like that any fashion i don't want to say trends but anything just let me know put them below or you guys can send them to my dm on instagram at the coco styles nyc one um the other one is my business page so don't really send them there but i will catch you guys in the next one